North Korean leader orders military to step up preparations for war. Kim Jong-un's danger unveiled. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has ordered North Korea's military to intensify preparations for a possible war, according to the state news agency KCNA. He visited a parade of a tank division whose soldiers, unwaveringly faithful and absolutely obedient to the orders of the party's central committee, are ready to pave the way for victory on future battlefields. Bloomberg notes that Kim Jong-un has demonstrated new signs that he is preparing for war, stating that the time for peaceful reunification with South Korea has passed and he has the right to destroy his neighbor. To reinforce his threats, Kim is bolstering his strike capabilities by conducting rapid tests of his advanced ballistic missiles, making them larger, deadlier and more capable of striking the US and its Asian allies. North Korea is working on a range of ballistic missiles designed to carry nuclear warheads to strike US allies, South Korea and Japan, longer range missiles capable of hitting US bases in Guam, and intercontinental ballistic missiles intended to deliver a nuclear strike on New York or Washington. Kim has also modernized his missile arsenal, abandoning Soviet-era Scud variants, which were the mainstay in favor of missiles that rely heavily on domestic technology and can be launched despite sanctions. He also aims to miniaturize warheads for regional strikes and increase the power of intercontinental ballistic missiles warheads. Kim has unveiled new solid-fuel ballistic missiles that are easier to transport, conceal and launch than many liquid-fuel versions. Since May 2019, he has conducted over 150 launches. Among the most potent are intercontinental ballistic missiles, successfully tested three times in 2023, which can be stored in protected underground shafts or rolled out on a transporter for rapid firing. Most of the new missiles are KN-23 missiles, capable of carrying nuclear weapons that can strike all of South Korea and US forces stationed there within minutes. Kim has also sent missiles to Russia to help President Vladimir Putin in his attack on Ukraine. This marks the first time missiles have undergone combat testing, which could provide Kim with the targeting data necessary to make them more capable of evading interception. Texas Republican politicians have long used state law enforcement to act tough on immigration. But developments over the past few days seem to show how their latest maneuvering is inviting chaos raising fundamental constitutional questions, outraging local officials, and worsening international relations A recall, Texas has ramped up efforts to fortify the border in recent weeks. On last Friday, they erected a second fence on the border with Ciudad Juarez and deployed a group of riot police to stop migrants. The migrants made their way across concertina wire into an opening in the border wall, where they were momentarily forcibly held back by a small group of National Guardsmen. After rushing past the Guardsmen, migrants made their way to the next border barrier and turned themselves into Border Patrol. The Texas National Guard is under control of the state government, which is currently locked in legal battles with the Biden administration seeking to expand local control of immigration enforcement, though federal officials are mandated to apprehend and process anyone crossing the border without prior authorization, Texas officials, including the National Guard, are seeking to forcibly prevent foreign nationals from crossing the border wall and other obstacles, including concertina wire laid out by the state.